guys how are you today so in this video i decided to open with you guys this metallic watercolors it's from a store called renaissance colors uh, they are based in uk london or london uk and <clears throat> i've actually got this a while ago but i only had time right now to do it so i decided because it's my first time using this store i decided just to buy a half pen and to buy you can also buy um <clears throat> dot card so you can try the different you know metallic colors they call it the afternoon tea collection which is basically they call it like a pastel chrome um metallic watercolors and they are supposed to be vegan from my understanding so they're vegan also um bear in mind that this is my first impression and when i do the first impressions what i'm looking for is how easy it is to pick up on a brush and how bright vibrant they are so i don't really <clears throat> look for how opaque or transparent they are but obviously if you do a comparison for example between student grade and um artist gray watercolors a lot of times student grades are more opaque but in this case when it comes to metallic watercolors especially because i use them to to um has an accents in my coloring pages i don't look i'm not doing a painting or anything so i don't i don't really m mind about or oh, like if it's opaque or transparent i just you know as i said i'm worried i'm worried or concerned if it's easy to pick up on a brush and if it's vibrant because i love the glittery i mean who doesn't well i don't know <laughs> maybe someone doesn't like glitter but or metallic but i do so i'm just gonna open this she also had <clears throat> the the package also came with a nice like business card but you know me being me i just misplaced it so also i have here black watercolor paper by a brand called florence i've never tried and uh regular white watercolor paper by strathmore so i want to see how the the watercolors behave in both black or a dark background and the in the light background so i'm just gonna open this also she included an extra you know an extra dot um or sample of a color called lyrac i think so we will we will try that one as well so it's it looks like a little bonbon or a little you know chocolate so i also have my spray bottle because i like to spray my watercolors beforehand so they activate look at this so this is a, supposed to be a color shift so it shifts from green to blue to green so let's see if that that works i have my brushes i have some water i don't know if you can see it over there off camera anyways so let's let's start by spray some water let it sit for a little bit and let's see did i mention that this color is the name is novello so okay i'm thinking i'm gonna pick up a, a bigger brush this is a princeton neptune number eight if you guys are interested so okay it's picking up pretty quickly so let's see let's try first on the black paper <laughs> okay oh i forgot another thing i like to check is how easily it moves on the paper and it you need just a little bit more water guys i'm not an, a watercolor expert by any means so 
Oh, but it's very pretty. It's very pretty. Okay, let's see if I see, if we see some shift. Yeah, you can see some, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can see some blue there and then some green. Let's try the, um, on the white paper. Oh, do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? <laughs> that is pretty cool. Here you can see the blue a lot better and there you can and on the black you can see the green. That is very pretty. You can use this of course for um for marine or ocean pictures or stuff like that, you know, or sky or you know clothing. Okay, let's try now, I'm gonna spritz it again, this purple one. I'm not sure if this is a color shift. I, I don't know, it's just a little sample that she included. Oh, that's very pretty too. It looks like it has a little bit of shift to blue as well. but. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. That is so pretty. And uh, as you can see, it, it picks up quite well. And here again, you can see it's a bit more bluish, but it still has a, a purple tinge to it. I apologize, I'm a little, I have a little bit of a runny nose, but I'm okay, so. So if I sniff, <laughs> that's why. Very pretty as well. But you can see it's a little bit of a different blue. You can see there's a purple base to it. And here you can see there's a green base to, to this blue. Okay, let's go into the dot, into the dot card. Let's start with sketch. Yeah, oh. That is very pretty too. Oh my goodness. Very pretty colors. And it picks, and I can pick the color pretty, sorry guys pretty easily of course it's a little to me anyways it's a little bit more trickier when it's such a small you know dot however it, it works pretty pretty good it still works pretty good that is very pretty it will be very nice as an accent also, I want to mention, um, I might be, when I look at the swatches that they do in their Etsy store, if you go check, their swatches, swatches are a lot better than mine, so bear that in mind as well. I might be using a little too much water, but maybe I should have used a smaller brush. I should have used that, this one, number six. But okay, let's just roll with it. Next is the dilly. It's like a, oh, look at that. Do you see that? Tell me you guys can see that. I hope, yeah, you guys can see. That is such a pretty red gold. It has a, a little tinge of red in this gold.
Let's try on the white. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. I might have to get another black pap paper. That is so pretty. And you can always drop more color or more pigment there. That is very pretty. Next we have the Ritz. Oh, not a very beautiful color. This is more a champagne gold. More a champagne gold. Very, yeah, very ritzy. <laughs> yeah. Can always drop more. Now I'm gonna do the swatches a little smaller to see if they fit on the paper. So then it's easier to show it to you instead of having 30 million papers. Anyways. The next one is Fortnum and Mason. This is a green one. It's picking up very nicely. Oh my goodness. This is like a bit of like a sage, minty, green, metallic or glittery. That is, yeah, very pretty. Very pretty. Oh, let me, I was gonna, oops, I was gonna jump, but I forgot to try this one on the, Oh, that's so pretty. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous, in my opinion. That is gorgeous. Okay, now we go to Aqua Shard. Oops. A l nice light blue. Let's try here. Can I put a bit more water? Oops, that was a little too much water, but okay. I don't know if you if the camera is picking, but the shimmer and the glitter in this is unbelievable. I, I think it is a lot. Next we're going to Dorchester. So it's this pale, purple, pale lavender. Oh my goodness, another, another pretty color. Look at that. Next, it's one Aldwych. This is more like brown, copper maybe. Let's see. I'm gonna do it over here. Actually, it's very similar to the Dealey. However, you can tell it has a more brown undertone. Very pretty too. There's, they're all very pretty, so. Okay. And finally we have Berkeley. Oh, 
I'll put it over here. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Let's try on the white. Put a little bit more water. Okay. All right, guys, so here are the colors I picked up. Um, here is in the black paper. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. I think it's amazing. Look at that. And here is in, in the white paper. Very beautiful too. Of course, I think they look just a smidgen more stunning in the black paper, but that's because of the contrast. Now, um, these are handmade, so obviously they're not gonna cost you, you know, I don't know, three euros or four euros. This is, the card was 10 euros, around 10 euros if I'm not mistaken, and the uh, half pen was like nine euros. So, however, at the same time, it's not more pr expensive than other handmade watercolors. It's actually, I think it's pretty on, on, on the spot in terms of handmade watercolors. Now, if you're looking for this, if you're in the market for, you know, metallic shimmery watercolors, definitely this could be an option for you, or you could, get well it depends actually i was gonna say you could get from what is that japanese brand is it gansai gansai oh my gosh i don't remember but they come in like uh, six in a in a palette of with six wells with different you know gold colors and i think they also have pearlescent colors in another one in another palette but you know, if you want to support a small business, if you're in the market for, I think, I mean, first impression, I think it's very, very pretty and I'm happy with what I got. So, so it's up to you if, if you like to try, but I, I'm happy with it. So I, I actually can't wait to use this, this, uh, watercolors on my coloring. <laughs> so. It would be cool in the mandala, the little, you know, accents, you know? So, yeah, I hope this was somewhat entertaining, or not entertaining, but interesting for you and that, you know, it, uh, it, um, it informs you of this, you know, company or this little, st you know, store, small business on Etsy. So I hope you liked and uh, until next time, I see you guys. Bye.